What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the fitness? What the f I've been watching you fitness TikTok and I am not impressed or I, I actually am impressed at the level of fuckery on TikTok. Oh my god, what a cold mine of content. My video guy and I, we are just so happy because we don't have to scrounge for content anymore. It's just, there's so much bullshit on TikTok. It's great, it's wonderful. So, shall we begin? So our submission today, oh, I, I, I just got tagged in it, but it's a post from Mommy Mango. And again, I, I'm sure that there's, maybe she has a lot of great content, but this one um, is probably not so good. If you're trying to shrink your waistline, I promise you, you haven't considered this one thing. And Immediate trigger warning, shrink waistline. Exercise. And it has nothing to do with calories. Something that shrinks your weight lies and has to nothing do to do with exercise or calories? Into your body. You see, it has been known that there is a chemical that can accelerate the formation of new fat oh, cells. It also increases the fat accumulation within those fat cells. Five out of five studies find a link between this chemical and belly fat. And what is that chemical, you ask? Is that like dentists? Like, five out of five studies prefer this chemical for increasing belly fat. By the way, I I'm pretty sure it's going to be BPA because that's what all these idiots talk about. It's BPA. Yeah, the highest got levels it. are found in canned green beans and canned tuna. Also oh yeah, canned, canned, beans, canned green canned beans and canned tuna is what's making you fat, guys. Not you know hyper palatable, ultra processed, energy dense foods. Not that. That's not what making you have belly fat. It's all the canned tuna and green beans you've been eating. Do people seriously listen to this and go, yeah, that makes sense. So I don't know what five studies she's referencing. There's actually a lot more studies on BPA than five. And sure, if you give it in a really high dose to a rat, you see wonky shit happen. There was a study uh, using a reasonable dose in hens that showed that there were some weird things that happened. Um, by the way, like less than 25% of results from animal studies end up translating into human studies. That's why we do human studies. And yes, BPA consumption tends to be associated with obesity because guess what? BPA is found in higher levels in what? Da 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 da! Processed food. And processed food has what you asked? The same thing that she said didn't matter. That's calories. You eat more processed food, you have more calories, and you gain more weight. Do you really think it's the BPA? Do you really think it's all that canned tuna and all those canned vegetables that have been making you fat? Because if you do, that bridge in Tampa is still for sale. Guys, don't fall for this shit. I'm not saying you should eat BPA. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, the small amounts of BPA found in these foods are not what's making you fat. The thing that's making you fat is the same thing that's made people fat since they could become fat. And that is too many calories with too little physical activity. I know that's not sexy. I know that doesn't sound like an easy fix, but it's the truth. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Like it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.